those individuals that are most at risk for suicide are those that have undetected, undiagnosed mental illnesses. I think the best way to prevent suicide is making sure that everybody has a friend. I think people are afraid to talk about suicide because they may feel ashamed. I think people try and commit suicide because they're, they feel like they have no options in their life and they feel hopeless. If we're talking about youth, the best way to prevent suicide is to talk about it. People that are struggling with depression, mental illness or whatever, really don't want to die. They want the pain to go away, but they're not sure how to make that pain go away. So talking about it can be the best thing that we can do. Hope Squad has helped me in my personal life because I myself struggle with a mental illness and it's just, I don't know, kind of like affected me personally and it's just, it's a good thing and it's helped me out with some of my own problems that I've never really talked about with anybody else before. I think it's very important for uh, everybody to be involved and if, if you really look at the model that Hope for Utah has created, um, our mantra is that while it takes an entire village to raise a child, we believe it takes an entire community to save one. So uh, females actually attempt three to four times more often than a male does, but a male will take their life three to four times more often than a female does. Have I ever thought or attempted suicide? And yeah, I have. I've had multiple friends um, attempt or commit suicide. Um, one of my best friends was a successful suicide attempt. And, and for the first time in many, many years in the state of Utah, youth suicide is down by 20%. Suicide is by far preventable. Of all of the deaths, of all of the deaths that are out there, suicide is the most preventable. And the research shows that time and time again. What caused me to think about suicide? Well, a lot of my personal problems, I felt alone and helpless and I just, I was embarrassed to tell anybody my problems or what was going on and just I've had a good amount of my very close friends commit suicide and even family members and it's taken a really big personal toll on me. I got involved because uh, a friend of my mother's, his son committed suicide and it was devastating to the family and he was one of the founding parents to get involved in starting the HOPE program at Riverton High School. And so it was through that friendship that uh, I went to the walks and I got involved uh, in any way that I could and uh, just have enjoyed that experience because it's such a critical thing to have happen. Uh, I've been involved with them as a participant in their, their walk they do every year it's usually in January and it's usually a very, very cold Saturday. And then I've had the opportunity most of those times to speak to them at the end of their walk. We've always tried to help them as a city if they needed a facility for anything concerning the HOPE program or just any resources that we could lend to them. We've always been very desirous of doing that. Usually when somebody is deciding to commit suicide, it's their temporary frame of mind that they're in. And if we can reach out to them and help them, they can get past that moment in time when life is so discouraging and so bad for them and go on and live a very normal, happy life as they go through. And so it's, it's important to intervene at that crit critical time. And the person that will have more influence on them, I believe, than anyone else is their peer group. And so for the peer to reach out and be a sounding board is a wonderful thing. Hope Squad has helped me in my personal life um, by many different ways. Um, it's a way for me to give back to the community, it's a way for me to help myself and to know that I'm helping others through suicide prevention and I'm not, well, that I am making a difference in the world.